payment to supplier, just see this is the account. This is the key account of the bank. This is credit side. This is debit side. Bank increases on debit. Bank decreases on credit. Here we have payment to supplier. How much we paid? 96220. We paid to supplier 96220. We have payments, we have opening balance, we have closing balance. Now one question will come in your mind. Sir, when you taught us control account, there are a lot of items on payable control account like discount received, contra entry, purchase return. I will say yes, we know. But in this question, we don't have purchase return. We don't have any information about contra entry. We don't have discount received. So these are not available. Yani they are not there. Only we have opening balance, closing balance, payment. We will have the purchases figure. Now making this purchases figure balancing amount, we will know the, uh, we will make the balance of this account. Means 96220 plus 7460. It will be 103680. Both uh, sides must be equal. Then we will deduct 6280. We will have 97,400 the balancing figure. This is for purchases 97,000. 400 this amount we found out and we can say to examiner please look at the working we did a working for purchases and you give the reference he will check over there 97400 is for the purchases now we don't have closing inventory and we don't know the final answer as well so we have to do another working when we start incomplete records, we discuss the technique called markup and margin. All those students who took the course from me, they are aware of a small trick, a small technique which we used to do in our regular classes that sales is equal to cost plus profit. Here it is 40% profit. I used to ask you guys, this is markup or margin? So here it is, margin. Margin applies on sales. So cost is X, cost is unknown. How much it will be? Sir, so 60%, correct. Now, do we have sales? Yes, here it is. 166,000 is sales. Sales represents 100%. What we need? We need cost of goods sold, which is 60%. So we got cost of sales figure, which is which was unknown before doing this working. So we have 99,600. So we found out the final answer, which is 99,600 cost of goods sold. This is cost of sales. Now, just do a small working. Cost of sales is equal to opening plus purchase minus closing. We don't know closing and we don't have it. Opening is 8,400. Purchases we found out 97,400 and cost of sales 99,600. How much the closing inventory be? Means we have to do some maths. 99,600, 8,400 is on the other side. It will come on this side, so it will be deducted. 97,400 is positive sign. It will come on other side. It will be also be deducted, and we will have the closing inventory, which is 6,200. Again, working reference for examiner that, sir, we did a working for working to find out closing inventory. So hopefully, till gross profit, you guys understood the concept. <clears throat>
If this video is helpful for you, please hit the like button. Now, after gross profit, we know other income will come and other expenses will be there. So we don't have any other income in this question, but we do have some expenses. Let's deal with expenses one by one. First of all, which expenses you can see? So the first expense is rent. But this is the payment side of bank. How much we paid? We paid 2640. But do we have any prepayments or any accrual? We have to consider accruals and prepayment while writing expense amount. So let's search for it. We will know if we check the question properly that we had rent, prepaid rent, this and that. Any at the start of the year, we had some prepayment, some asset, but while reaching to the end of the year, we don't have it. What does this mean? Means our prepaid is consumed. Prepaid consumes means it's expense out. When we have closing prepayment, it's reduction in expense. But if we do have opening prepayment and by the end of the year, it's consumed is zero means it's expense out. It will increase our expense. So we have 2880 rent expense. The second expense, if we see the payment side, we have wages. 41,400 we paid. Search for any prepayment or approval. So we have wages accrued. Here it is. At the beginning, there are no accrual, but at the end, there are 610 accrued. Accrued ending accrual will going to increase the expense. So it will come 42,010. Then searching for expense again in the key account, we done with this one, uh, rent we took, wages we took, journal expenses, journal expenses, there are no adjustments for general expenses. So 10,890 will come here, easy marks. Then drawings is not an expense. There is an interest, we will take the interest, but at last. Do we have any other expense? So you guys will say, no, sir, there are no expenses and except for the loan interest. But I will say there is an expense hidden which is known as depreciation expense. Do we have non-current assets in this question? Yes, sir, we have non-current assets. Okay, so if you have non-current assets, definitely they have to be depreciated. But sir, there is no formula given, no straight line, no reducing balance, no percentage, no life. Okay, okay, I got it. But see the value. The opening balance of non current assets are 35,580. And while reaching the end of the year, it's 32,450. So, is there any information, anything that we buy any non current asset in this detail of payment? No, there is no detail for purchasing or disposal of any asset. So, means we in this question. There is no purchase, neither purchases nor disposal of asset. So why there is a difference between both values? So the simple answer is the network values are declining because of the depreciation expense, which the company, Mr. Josefa already calculated and he did not like to give us the information. So the depreciation expense will be the difference of net book values, which will be uh, 35580 minus 32450. Uh, just check out how much is coming. It's coming 3130. Very good. Now, 
after this we have only one expense left which is interest we knows that interest will come at the end of the end of the uh, of the question so let's complete this question sales minus cost of sales 66400 is my gross profit i will add all the expenses 28804201010890 and 3130 i will get 58910 the answer will come profit from operations and after this we will deduct loan interest which is given and i highlight it in yellow 300 so my profit from operation is 7490 300 will be deducted as a interest so i have profit for the year 7190 that's all for this question this question is helpful for all the students who are going to give papers either o levels igsc or a levels because income records is in the course of all the accounting qualifications so if you like my video please subscribe the channel and share amongst other students Thank you so much. Take care.